huge thank you to our channel member, Jim Gemmel. Yes, hello everybody. How are you? We're back and we're back with some more Quizness Jet action here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. And I hope you are well this evening. Apologies for the slightly late start. Uh, some, some late comers. You know who you are. Um, but <laughs> it's, it's fine. We've got it running. We're all good. So we've got, uh, so we got it all sorted. So we've got some fantastic games lined up for you this evening uh, as everybody tries to take on our champion uh, to take the crown off of him. So without further ado, shall we get into who we have with us this evening? First up, he is the right way up this time. Uh, and we're going to bring him on first just in case he decides to go upside down or decide that he may need to disappear somewhere. It is, of course, Jack Rolls. He's the right way up. Somebody remind him his food will be done in 40 minutes. Rolls. Jack, how are you this evening? <laughs> go again. Didn't hear that. I can't hear you, Jack. There's, there's no sound. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Hey, there we go. How are you? <clears throat> yeah, fine, thank you. How are you? Yes, very well, thank you. Very well. How was your weekend? Very well, thank you. Yours? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, obviously, last time that we played this, you were second. Uh, what are you going to do differently this time to win, other than, of course, staying the right way up this time? <clears throat> uh, well, what, what I'm going to do is I'm, I, I've re, re, revamped myself, kept on um kept on informing myself, th thinking to myself, what do I have to do to be beat him, e even though he's on the joint currently? So, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've done your research then? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for this. Good job, good job. Uh, and of course, favourite airline? Oh, if I had to choo choose ITA. I ITA, just love that livery. Good. You can say, don't don't just pick a particular one because of our special guest this evening. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, very good. Very good. Right, so Jack, we'll bring you back shortly. No problem. Our next guest is a big fan of the show. Uh, we'll bring him in now. It is, of course, Wilson Simmons. Simons, am I announcing that correctly? Yes. yes. Fantastic. How are you today? Pretty good. I'm real fan of Joe. Good stuff. Good to have you on. Are you excited? I am, yes. First time do, doing this. So I'll ask you what will occur in my number and search in the belly. Hopefully, I get at the top. <laughs> Are you looking to uh, take the crown today as well? Yeah, I am. Yeah, he's in for it. Like it. Fighting talk. Uh, and very quickly, your favorite airline? Uh, it would be Delta. Delta. Good stuff. Right. We'll bring you back very, very shortly. <clears throat> right. Now, star of the show. Uh, watches from all around the world on her many, many travels. And of course, friend of the show and A330 pilot. It is, of course, the latecomer, Alison. <laughs> Alison, oh, how are you? I, sorry about that. Sorry, I, had a, I, had a, I had a bit of a technical issue. So Technical like, issues. <laughs> That's yeah, what they all um, I got locked out of my Twitter and my Instagram last second. I was like, ah, can I get in? <laughs> How are you? Obviously, you've been on the show before as a as a guest on the sort of the podcast side of it. Are you excited to be on sort of the, the yeah. quiz side of it? Oh yes, yes. See how we get on. See what yeah. see how we get on. Um, Confident. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to draw, that's it. I'll just drop the point straight away there. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Um, no, sort of your, your recent travels for people that may have not sort of followed you on Instagram and things like that. Name a couple oh, of places God. that you've, you've particularly watched the show from uh, as well. Tampa uh, was my last trip. Uh, I'm going to Miami next week. Uh, what did I do before that? Miami, before that, Antigua, Boston. Yeah, just the eastern seaboard, basically the US at the minute. A lot of that. Great stuff. But, uh, and of course, um, I'd say favourite airline, but I think that's probably a little bit biased. So we'll go with potential fast food uh, chain. Right, say again. Uh, like fast food chain, favourite one. 
Oh, it's not really fast food, but I suppose it is Wagamama's. Wagamama's, good shout. Very good shout. Wonderful. We'll bring you back very, very shortly. Yeah. No uh, also joining us this evening uh, after he also had technical issues and hopefully he's fixed them now. It is our resident northern man. It is Ian Hartley. Ian, very good evening to you. Uh, how are you doing this evening? Well, Tom, how are you? Is, is, this, a lot, is this better? Uh, slightly quiet. Um, bear with. Bear with. I'll be back. So that's Ian. <laughs> well, we'll introduce Ian again shortly. However, <clears throat> introducing your reigning, defending, uh, Quizness Jet champion. It is, of course, Steve Aldridge. Steve, a very good evening to you, champ. How are you? Good. Uh, yourself, Tom, and everyone at home. I hope you're doing well but yeah all right mate yeah very well very well here how confident are you this evening that you are going to walk out of here still quizness jet champion no not at all uh i'll be honest it was it's been a double-edged sword like it was next week but when i was out and about people like oh i've seen you on youtube but to be from rape my takeaway on that occasion but yeah there was a lot of pressure to be honest honest so uh we're gonna big it up, up i've got pro proper competition this time round. because let's be honest last uh to uh to everyone i was facing i didn't have a lot a lot to go against it or less be proper uh competition this time so we'll see what happens good stuff as champion um i'll ask you the same as everyone else uh your favorite airline oh i was booking to go somewhere i'd, I'd pick British Airways, so I'd go with them. <laughs> oh, I can see the reaction. You're not going to get a good reaction out of that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Right, let's bring everyone back. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Jack's upside down. <laughs> Started early. Good stuff, Jack. Nice one. Everyone's going, woo. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Right, Ian, all good? I don't know, you tell me. Well, you're a lot louder, so we can hear you. All oh, right, happy days, yeah. I'll do, yeah. Very quickly, you doing well? Well, Tom, yeah, <coughs> I've, um, I've had to rush back this evening to be on tonight's show. But as I've been fishing all day, Tom, so. <laughs> mm. Awesome, awesome. Right, for those. And my favourite lady, McDonald's. <laughs> Definitely. Trust you. Trust you, honestly. <laughs> right, let's get into it. So, for those that don't know and haven't seen the show before, uh, on the first Quizness Jet that we did, there are a round of four games that we're doing this evening, yeah. um, which will test our uh, our contestants' knowledge on aviation. Um, I've selected four games in particular. Uh, a couple are some of the favourites that we've had uh, on the first show, some or one in particular is a new one that I've brought in uh, for this evening. So we'll go on, go on to that very, very shortly. You'll all be very happy to know there's no drawing involved. <laughs> what's, what's happened to Jack? Can we sort Jack out? Yeah, Jack's upside down. I told him to go upside down. <laughs> very it's fine. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> Right, everyone got pen and paper ready, apart from Wilson. Jack, you can turn yourself the right way up now. <laughs> if you know how to. <laughs> Good stuff. Right. First, round, first round that we're doing this evening is... Who the Reg do I belong to? All right, so this one in particular is a pretty good one. There are two points up for grabs. One for guessing the airline that the registration belongs to. Job done. That's all you need to do. But you get an extra point if you can guess the aircraft that it belongs to as well. So we like to throw in a little bit of um, a challenge as well. Rather than make it nice and easy, we like to kind of give people an extra incentive for a bonus point. Uh, you'll write your answers down, barring obviously Wilson, and then we'll shout them out one by one go from there sort of thing um so i've got 10 registration numbers for you lot today um and we'll go from there so first one up for you lot is 
No, if you can see that, hopefully you can. Uh, it is Oscar Echo Lima Zulu Oscar. Who does that belong to? And for an extra point, what aircraft is it? I'll give you some time when I say hello to people in the chat. So who we got? We've got quite a few people. So I'm going to read out quite a few names starting from the bottom up. We've got Machet TV Live. We've got David Bone, Jim Gemmel, new member, of course. Good to see you. Rob Brown, good to see you. Uh, <laughs> Wayne Hartshorn, good to see you. Uh, Bruce, hello to you. Uh, Steph Weller Lifestyle, good to see you. Katie Price, good to see you. Um, Gail Leary, hello to you. Uh, yeah, lots of names. Tim Hartley, good to see you. London Plains Boy, good to see you again. Thanks for coming in. Um, Lynn Keeble, another channel member, good to see you as well. Uh, who else we've got here? Who else? Who else? Who else? Lots of them. Uh, Steph Weller Lifestyle, uh, backing Alison to win this evening. Um, Paul Hussey, good to see you. He's back in Jack to win this evening. Uh, Gail Leary says, let's hope there's no dinner pictures from Jack this evening. Trust me, there will be. Uh, <laughs> and Martin Waldridge is there as well. And hello to everybody else that's, uh, that's um, popped in as well. Play along at home as well. Write them down, total up how many points you get as well. Um, obviously, if you cheated, not good. Right, so <laughs> so then let's uh, let's begin with going around who we think this belongs to. So who's going to pop up first? It is, of course, young Jack. Jack, who does that belong to? Bit closer, Jack. Bit closer. Closer, Jack. Closer. <laughs> <clears throat> Just about to see it. Austrian A320. Austrian A320. All right, good stuff. Uh, Ian. When you're ready. I've just got Bal Baltic. Baltic. <laughs> Air Baltic. <clears throat> okay, Air Baltic. Yeah. <laughs> A220. A220. All right, Alison. I forgot A220. It says it there at the end. I went for. Austrian. It's an Austrian edge. Okay. 320 or 321. I wasn't quite. Okay. No, that's, that's fair. Well, so you can only have one. It's either one or the other. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, sir. Let's play the game. Uh, uh, for, for, uh, for me, these are Austrian 320. 320. Oh, yeah. There's the red name. 320 Neo from uh, from Wilson. Good stuff. Yeah, um, uh, actually, very specific. Uh, three C. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, Steve, your shout, please. Uh, oh no! Well, I think it was Austrian. Three one three nineteen. Okay, so let me just do mm. the numbers here. The actual plane that it belongs to is, and well done for those in the chat that got it. I've got to find the actual picture of it now. God damn, it's this. It is the Austrian A320 Neo. Oh, oh, oh. oh got it. Is. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, I think Wilson got two points for that because I think he said Austrian 320 Neo. Uh, Alison with one point for getting the airline. Steve with one for getting the airline. Jack with one for getting the airline. Ian with nothing for getting the entire thing wrong. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Uh, so I'm just minus one. I'll get a minus, minus one. Two. <laughs> All right, your next one. Winner, winner in on my points. <laughs> your next one is God. Bravo Hotel. Bravo Hotel Echo. Well done to everybody that's got the points as well in the chat. Like I said, keep a total of what you're mm. getting. Let's see if you do better than the people that we have here this evening. Of course, you can become a channel member as well, just like Jim, just like Lynn, just like Carl Crawford as well by clicking the join button if you are enjoying mm. watching us. Right, Papa Hotel, Bravo Hotel Echo. Let's have a look and see what you 
think, starting with... By the way, has everyone got an answer written down first? Two seconds. Yeah, just about... Um... Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah I have now, yeah. All good. Right, first up. Steve. What is your uh, take on this one? I've gone to uh, seven. Okay, KLM seven three seven. Jack. KLM triple seven. Okie dokie. Ian. <laughs> three fifty. A, a tie A three. Yep. Okay, tie A three fifty. I put tight A350, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm not very good at this game. Can we play Monopoly next time? You. Monopoly. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mastermind, mastermind, something like that. All right. Let's take you off. Uh, tight A350. All right. There you go. Good stuff. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's the I'm a 77. BH, BH. I feel like that, that the average would be part of a seven and not a two and not a fifty. I believe the part that is a that's a seven. A, sorry, seven three seven. Seven from Tom. Okay. Uh, let me do. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're all good. Yeah, Kale. Okay. M767, uh, I think you say it. No, it's 77. Triple seven. Seven, seven, three, seven, oh, seven, three, three, seven, three, seven. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No problem. Um, Alison, yeah. over to you. Well, I've got to be really honest. I did say K and M, and I crossed it out when that's not it. But 787. Seven. Okay. So no airline, just 787. Yeah. I didn't All think. Right. Back no problem at all. All right, I can give you the answer. The actual answer is, and Alison, you'll be kicking yourself. I know. <laughs> it is the KLM at seven eight seven dash nine. Oh. <laughs> so everyone except Ian gets one point. <laughs> hey, that's my. Everyone except Ian gets a point. So KLM's 787-9. Well done, everybody that uh, got the answer in the chat. Okay. Your next one is as follows. November 414 Delta Zulu. Oh, I know what this place is. All right, give yourself some time to obviously Wilson's got it. Uh, have a think. One point for the airline, one point for the aircraft. See what you come up with. So, getting it right from the last round, let's have a quick nosy see who got it. Uh, Gail, uh, Gail Leary got it. Uh, Max Jet TV Live got it. Uh, Jim Gemmel got it. Uh, Carl Crawford got it. Steph Weller Lifestyle got it. Rob Brown was missing the aircraft, and so too was Wayne Hartshaw. All right, everyone got an answer? Yep. Good. Everyone's, yep. Steve's just chugging away because, you know, why not when you're a champ? Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see what you've written down. All right, Alison, you first. That registration straight away is a Delta one. I know that because I've seen it. Um, and that's a 330? <laughs> yeah. Don't know which sort, but I know it's 330. Go for 330. All right. Could no be problem 300. At all. Could be oh. oh. Okay. Right. Uh, Steve, over to you. Uh, American Trouble 7. Okay. American no. Triple 7. Jack. Southwest 737. Western 737. God. No. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, let's go for Wilson. 
I I I actually see one on my new boss last year. So I leave the eight three hundred. So really straight down. Cool. Delta A330 Neo. Uh, and lastly, if I can do it, there we go. Uh, Ian. Is it the one Delta 767, of course, but I think I've got Delta, Delta 767. Seven. All right, I can reveal to you that that's the, the breast cancer logo on it. Well, you're about to find out because Wilson was correct on both parts. It is I the Delta AP30 uh... Neo. That is the aircraft that that registration belongs to. Well done, Wilson, and well done, everybody in the chat that got it. Well, and Alison. She didn't know which, which one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, she still gets a right? point for getting the airline. She still gets a point for getting the airline. It's fine. It's fine. Otherwise, you can you might as well just go for a whole range of like, you know, you can say seven six seven. It could be anything: two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, etc. Anyway, Ian, you got a point, so be happy. I am happy. I am happy. <laughs> All right, good stuff. All right, a uh, couple more on this front. We'll go for. Uh, Tango, Charlie, uh, Juliet, November, Bravo. Which one, please, does this one belong to? Right, let's have a look in the chat. Um, see who got it. Everyone says 3.30. Yeah, people getting the wrong 3.30, though, from before. Good job, anyway, everybody. Well done. Right, everyone got an answer? Yes. Steve? Not yet. Uh, okay, Ian's the uh, only, probably the only one that doesn't have an answer yet. Right, yeah, I've got one, yeah. Got one? Cool. Right, let's have a look. We'll do one more after this, and then we'll move on to yeah, another no, yeah. favourite of the, of the show. Right. Uh... Ian, OT first, which uh, reg uh, aircraft and airline is that belong to, please? I I've just gone for a Canada. I've just gone for a Canada. Uh, sorry. Okay, Air Canada. Yep. Shiak? MNG Airlines. And I've gone for an AQ-30. Who? Yeah, uh, Cargo. Cargo. I know of it. Yeah, I know of MNG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, three thirty freighter. Okay. Uh, Alison. I have the fuckiest. I went for J and B for Johannesburg, so I South African. <laughs> I couldn't South African. Okay. And then three thirty. A three. Yeah. Okay. South African three forty. Steam. Turkish three fifty. Okie dokie. Lastly, Wilson. I think it's uh, Turkish A350. <coughs> Turkish A350. All right, I can reveal that it belongs to Turkish Airlines and their A330 200. Oh. Oh. So because Jack got the wrong type of A330, he gets nothing. <laughs> I get nothing. At least uh, you got it right. You said Turkish. Did you say Turkish, Wilson? Yes. Yeah. At least you get a point. Right. Yeah, you got a yeah, point he said, for that. So he he said Turkey three. He said three thirty as well, didn't he? You say three thirty. I said three fifty. Yeah, that's fine. I, so, yeah. Yeah. Right, there you go. Turkish A330. Well done, anybody that got that in the chat. All right. 
last one for this evening. There's quite a few to go through, uh, but we'll go for it. Um, so uh, let's go for this one was the last one. Oscar, Oscar, Sierra, November, Oscar. Who does that belong to, please? Ooh, no. Which one does this one belong to? Let me know when you've got an answer, everyone. Like I said, playing along at home, make sure you keep record of what you've got for your scores. All right, everyone got an answer? Yeah, it's not. Hey. <laughs> Ian, yep. got an answer? All good. Right. First up. Yep, yep, yep. All good. Yep. Wilson, over to you. I think it's AS uh, 3. A AS being Alaska, is that right? No, yes, give me my sister. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yes, yeah, got it. All right. SAS A320. Ian, over to you. Half for Iceland Air 767. Iceland Air 767. And, and to be more specific, is, the, is it the Christmas? <laughs> plan <laughs> well wrong airplane to start with <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love that brilliant let's take you there <laughs> uh jack over to you uh brussels a320 you've even gone for the tomorrow land livery okay no extra point for that by the way but We'll go for the Brussels 320, that's fair play. Uh, Alison, over to you. I went with a snow thing. Green and there. Green, oh, and there you go. Oh, and that's a dash seven as well. Okay. Ah, yeah, good shout. Seven. Great shout. All right, lastly. I have gone yeah. for. That's one of your old. Seven three. Norwegian 737. I can tell you. Uh, uh, Wilson, what was your answer again? A320. A320. Right, okay. Uh, the only one that got four points out of that, so the two that were on offer, was Jack. Oh. The Brussels A320. Oh. Very good, everybody. Mm -hmm. Righty ho. Who's under the minus two back. for that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I think I've got that correct. Right. Okay. So. Uh, sort of after the first round, we'll go through the scores. So, in last place with one point is Ian. Uh, in joint, <laughs> in, in, uh, in joint, oh, where am I going to go for that one? In joint fourth, joint third, joint third, uh, both on three points. It's Allison and the current reigning defending champion, Steve. In Yay. second place on four points. T shirt over Ed. <laughs> Jack's in second with four points and Wilson's leading with six. Very well done. Also, lots of points go to chat. Very good. All right, it's everyone's favorite this time. Uh, we're going to bring this in. I was going to do it at the beginning, but we're going to do it right now. It, I haven't changed the name of it because I simply didn't have time. I got back from London two hours ago. I'm tired. Leave me alone. It is the Pride well, Chase Fight. Hey! <laughs> Okie dokie. Price is shite. So idea of this one is very, very simple. I have done the rounds on eBay. Very important to note the UK version. Uh, so all the all the values will be in pounds sterling. 
Um, and I have found quite a few memorabilia or whatever to do with aviation. And all you've got to do is tell me how much it is. You go over, you get no points. So always good to think about that one. I know Jack likes this round because I think the last time we did this, he got absolutely nothing from the <laughs> that we did. I probably so, didn't either. <laughs> but so, you know, in order to keep up, I'm going to write down what everyone's put as well, so I don't lose track as to who's put what. Um, wicked. All right. Here is your... I don't think so. All right. Here is your first um, item that's up for uh, debate today. It is this lovely, um, authentic proper uh concord galley box from british airways i just need you to please tell me how much it is oh god i've got this <laughs> we, <laughs> should, yeah, we, we need to write this down don't we yes you need to write down how much you think this would be condition used <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that in there as well. That's a suspect Concord pack that's added to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping onto that. <laughs> right, I'll give you the full description as I have looked at it. It says. Uh, British Airways Concorde one memorabilia galley box number 37 aircraft location the aircraft was uh, Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Charlie which is the one at Manchester destinations would have been New York and Barbados very limited collection of galley boxes from Concorde comes with certificate yeah, certificate of authenticity has everyone got a price yeah yeah good stuff yeah okay let's take that off screen for a minute no doubt the chat has got some uh, good stuff in there um lots of really random numbers in there as well it's pretty cool all right <coughs> Can I just say, with those laggy boxes right yes they don't go to aircraft they, they go to the whole air, air, air airline and caters we get klm ones we get air france ones we get all sorts of different ones on there. this might make a difference very mm. interesting <laughs> All right, Alison, mm. you're up first. <laughs> so I went because of that. I thought 125 pounds. 125 pounds. 99. Did, or... did you put 99 at the end? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be specific. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, you gotta do it. Price right. You can have to 99. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wilson, over to you. How much do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So quite, I think that is sense about Marvel. I think it will be between two and three million dollars. Two to three million dollars. Two to three million dollars. Let's get into the item. So expensive. Okay. Uh, Ian. Four hundred and fifty pound at first, Tom. But when you said it was from the one at Manchester, like in Manchester, this is I'll probably try and knock it out for about twenty-five quid just to get rid. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> So you put 25 quid. I'll stick with me for it. Oh, they're all at Cheetah Mill, but I will roll. But I'll stick with the 450. 450. <laughs> you probably not it up soon. All right, 450 quid. Jack. Yeah. 25,000. 25,000 pounds. <laughs> Well, right. Twenty-five thousand pounds from Jack. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, right, Steve, over to you. Three hundred eighty-nine ninety-nine. Three 
eighty nine ninety nine. I love the way that eighty nine ninety nine. I love it. All right, <clears throat> I can tell you if I bring everybody back to this way. Uh, I can tell you one person was extraordinarily over. Jack, hey. um, <laughs> Jack, that was you. You were massively, massively over with what that was. Uh, the actual price of that is £950. Oh, God. Yeah. Big windows. Big windows. You got like them close. All right. Yeah, so Ian in gets... the hurry. No. <laughs> So Ian gets the two points. No, Steve were closer. You were closer with 450 pounds. Well, Steve's not closer than me. No, no I put 350 pounds. Oh, sorry, you? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ian gets two points. There's two points up for grabs here oh, yeah. as well. At least you get next point on it. Oh, is that it? it? Two points. Sorry. There's seven of these to do, so <laughs> Bear with. Right, uh, sticking with the Concord theme, it is a standard Worcester British Airways Concord model 1200 scale. I just need you to tell me how much it is, please. Oh, well done, anybody that was close in the chat. Let, uh, I can't, I, I mean, it's max per 80 grand, so Jack, you weren't that far over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. All right. How much for a Worcester Concorde model, please? And bearing in mind, it oh, is. Um, they good models. It is. Uh, let me just uh, bear with. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'll give you the full description. It is uh, one to one to keep note of as well. It says British Airways Concord model, Worcester Aviation memorabilia with box, slight box damage. The box mm. <laughs> dropped. <laughs> slight box damage. Oh, I Worcester decent models. Are the good models? Worcester were way back, sort of like. Early nineties, late nineties, sort of thing. <clears throat> very, very classic. The price, then. Classic no. with their model making sort of thing. Okay. All right. Everyone got an answer. Right. Yeah. Go on. Okay. Let me take that off screen. Up first, Steve. Uh, the Worcester Concord model, please. I have gone for one. Nine three sixty seven wow. plus postage and packaging. How much is the postage and packaging? Three sixty seven. Don't have to do postage and packaging. <laughs> but what about Steve? <laughs> All right, one hundred ninety three pounds <laughs> sixty seven from Steve. Alison, over to you. What is the uh, the price well, you I was originally going to go for another one hundred twenty five pounds, but I went for three hundred twenty five pounds. Three hundred twenty five pounds. Well, I think you said box damage, I thought. No, that's all right. Right, Steve disappeared very, very quickly. That's fine. No. Right, over Goodbye, to yeah, you. No. <laughs> Wilson, your price. £405. Pounds. 400, 405 pounds. No, four five hundred between, between those two years. Oh, right. Oh, that one there. Who we're not done yet? Ian and Jack. So, Ian, over to you. Uh, hang on, let's try and put it over. Yeah, one forty-nine ninety-five. One forty-nine ninety-five. Okay. Jack, last up. What do you go for? Bring it closer. 45k again, 25. Is that 100, 100, 120 pounds? 120? 120. Okay. 
I can safely reveal once uh, Steve's returned. Not that it matters anyway. Oh, Steve has returned. Right. I can safely reveal that all of you Whatever. were so badly over. No one gets oh, oh. 30 pounds. That is crappy. <laughs> you. Quid. What? what the hell? 30 quid. Sounds decent. 30 pounds? Good thing would be deep. 30 pounds. That is cheap. I've got five of those, so I imagine they'll go up in price over the years. Uh, I've, but, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm sure we got Right, there you go. The no points for anybody. Yeah. Does anybody in the chat get it? Let's have a look. Bro. Uh, and just, uh, and just for... Yeah, just for Steve, it was uh, three pound ninety three for postage and baggage. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, let's uh, let's get that one off the screen. There. Right, okay, next one. One that I think, obviously, I've gone for the the theme of the fact that we have Alison here. So here we go. I will read the description out, but I'll show you the picture. Okay, we're probably looking at that, thinking seats. What do you mean seats? I will tell you. All right, these seats. Oh, <laughs> these seats uh, were, uh, the, or they are rather, uh, economy seats from the Boeing 747-400 aircraft Golf Victor Alpha Sierra Tango. Don't ask me which one that is. It's a seven. <laughs> seven four. Yes, yeah, a seven four seven of some kind. Um, so. Uh, more information that you need to keep um, sort of keep an eye on. It says this seat has been carefully removed and is ready for display in your home or office. Uh, the seat is in as removed conditions, and whilst it includes a tray table, seat pocket, and seat belt, one of the in-flight entertainment screens is missing. Oh, uh, additionally, that's, that's additionally the... This package also includes two authentic Virgin Atlantic safety cards and a Vera magazine, providing an even more complete experience of the iconic seven, uh, Virgin Atlantic brand. There's no wonder What's we can't find safety cards. What's quite interesting is the please note that this seat is for display purposes only and cannot be used for flight. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I think legally on eBay they've got to put that if it's an aircraft part because there's no yes. problem to Yes. So you cannot fly it, basically. It's just a seat. But how much is that, please? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Someone's Bless having a good old... You. Bless you, Dad. Who's that? Who's oh. having a good <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Good. good. Uh, that's all right. You're all good. Okay. People, people I'm bringing more worried their, about uh, the oxygen mask that they've got pictured in the corner. Oh, the yeah? Curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. <laughs> and the dodgy curtain. <laughs> <laughs> right, figure in mind. I was figure curious about the same numbers to the price. It's sold as seen. Right, everyone got a price? Yep. Yeah. Wicked. Over to you first, Jack. So close. 10,000? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Blimey. All right, 10,000 pounds for two You're economy seats, Jack. Economy <laughs> seats. It's where the poor people like you and I sit. Mm. Economy. Others. Well, why not? <laughs> All right, ten thousand pounds from Jack. Steve. I've gone for ninety-nine pence. Four ninety-three sixty-nine. Four ninety-three sixty-nine. Alison. Okay, because of economy seats and because of Nick the seatbelt. You can see that eight hundred and fifty pounds and twenty-five. Eight hundred and fifty pounds twenty-five. Okay. Uh, Wilson. Six hundred pounds. Six hundred. 
That's eight, 800, 800, 800 pounds. Okie dokie, and oh, didn't do that well. There you go, and Ian. <clears throat> Four hundred. I'm right. <laughs> oh, it's, it's your game. Different right. Wrong there. game. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nice. <laughs> sorry. Do apologise. I've gone for one thousand. I thought that was the price. Two hundred. <laughs> one thousand two hundred pounds. Right. <laughs> I can reveal to you that one of you is this close to getting the actual price. You are so, 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 so close. And that person is your reigning defending uh, Chris it's Jet Champion. <laughs> if I can find the goddamn thing, there it is. £499. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> Alison and Wilton were over. Uh, so was Ian. Jack was massively over, so Steve would have got the point regardless. Could have been any price. <laughs> but two points goes to Steve. Now Steve with that clock. Is that not the corner of Steve's bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad has a house. Awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. Which one that was? <laughs> get rid of those all right next up <laughs> it's an interesting one that's literally all it is it's a bag of sweets it is literally a bag of sweets uh let me give you the full detail because you'll need to know certain things about it uh so these are Thomas Cook slash Condor sweets. This mini pack of Thomas Cook slash Condor branded sweets are soft gums made by Haribo. 10 grams in total weight. Used by date of the 19th of the 6th, 2020. So they're out of date. Uh, extremely rare in capital letters. Colors may vary from that shown. More packs available, free UK delivery only. Please contact the international delivery quote. So the bag of sweets is out of date. Oh, it's someone for you. They eat right what otherwise you? it's already bad. Oh. Uh, Carl Crawford was uh, was he was quite close with 495 pounds for the seats, so very good. Well done to anybody that got it. So how much for this bag of out of date aircraft sweets? I'm already on when it went bust. Can't imagine they taste very nice. No. Even if they are Harry Bow. Right, everyone got a prize. Okay. Up first. Ian, over to you. Price for a bag of sweets. Nine ninety five. Yeah. Nine ninety five. Jack. One pound fifty mini pence. <laughs> is that what? What is that? One pound fifty. <laughs> Can't hear you, Jack. One pound and five pence. I think we got the whisper out of that. <laughs> One pound and five pence. Uh, let's go for Wilson. I want to between ten and pounds. Ten and pounds. Okay. Which one are you going for? Uh, pounds. Ten. Yep, yeah, ten pounds. Steve, I fifty nine p. Fifty. <laughs> fifty nine pence. <laughs> Beautiful job. And lastly, Alison. If I'm still there, I think I've frozen. 
No, you're all good. All right. Four pound, Four pound 99. 99. Four pound just frozen and on my screen. <laughs> okay, I can reveal that one of you is spot on with the price. So one of you has actually guessed it correctly. Uh, that person is the current leader, Wilson. They are ten pounds. Oh yeah, I guess. Well done. Well, <laughs> that happened. Ian, you were so so close. Wow. Yeah. Five pounds. So, so ten pounds for an out-of-date bag of sweets. Oh yeah. Yeah, ten pounds for an out-of-date bag of sweets. It's ludicrous. It really is. I need to have a word to name flight cages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a nice little, uh, nice little one here for Alison as well. It is up next a Virgin Atlantic Airline of the Year 1992 mug. Uh, let's give you some more detail just so you can take that into consideration. So uh, the description is. <clears throat> And this is about as brief as it gets. Rare, Virgin, airline of the year, 1992. Used maybe once only, great condition. That, that's literally all it Virgin. says. <laughs> that's literally all it says. I'd like to know, please, how much that is. Well done to anybody that said, uh, that said 10 pounds as well. Rob Brown says it's cheaper than buying laxatives if you eat them. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> It's painful, I know that much. Buy a bag for Serena's boy, that'd be that would be help. Situation. But how much please? <laughs> how much please for the uh for the um for the cup there? Everybody got an answer? Everyone good? Yeah. Wonderful. Let's start with. All right. Uh, Alison, as you're on the screen. Is that me? Okay. Eight pound fifty p. Eight pound fifty. Stop. Uh, over to you, Ian. <laughs> Four pound and ninety nine p. Four pound and ninety nine pennies. Steve. You know. Twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, Wilson. Thirty exactly. Thirty two zero. Three pounds. Yes. Thirty three pounds. And lastly, Jack. 25k. 25k. Oh, what is oh, that? That's the expensive <laughs> cup I've seen. I don't know if it's that expensive. Is that 17.99, Jack? <laughs> oh, I was going I was to say. Really? All right. We're really away much on a cup. Far too much. All right. So let's bring everybody back to this sort of state. Uh, winner of that one, and you'll be quite surprised. Even I was when I looked at it. Thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five quid. <laughs> Thirty-five pounds. Right. So Wilson was closest. How long has it been listed? Oh. Oh, oh. Maybe because my... we've since 1992. <laughs> my, my dad has these. He, he, he has a guy, a guy that come uh, from Elon. <laughs> so he worked for one with Bates. Love that. Love that. Right, okie dokie. Uh, well done, everybody in the chat who was close enough. <laughs> that was the year of Red Hot. Um, but uh, yeah, thirty-five pound. I think that's a little bit extortionate. Um, so uh, let's get rid of it. Right, 
two interesting items that I found on eBay coming up next. I'm going to leave one to the end because I think that's quite interesting. We're going to go for this one first. This is one that I quite like in my house. It's this. Okay, before you look at it and go, what the hell is that? I shall tell you exactly what that is. <clears throat> it is. Uh, it is an F4 Phantom non-standard radome nose cone assembly. It is in use, uh, in use as removed condition. Previously fitted to an X uh, bottom down Phantom FG1 tail number uh, X-ray Tango 597. It is off an actual F4 Phantom aircraft. I just need you to tell me, please, how much that is. This is a genuine, genuine piece of an F4 Phantom, mm. one of my favourite fighter jets of all time. Mm. <clears throat> Let me know when you have an answer. Okay. Right, everyone got an answer? Yep. Good stuff. All right, so first up then is Jack, over to you with your extortionately high price. What is it? Go again. Up, 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 up. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Two hundred and half a million pounds, Jack. Half a million quid. A All right. Half a million pounds. Goodness me. All right, Alison, please be a bit more sensible. <laughs> Six thousand two hundred pounds. Much more like it. Six thousand two hundred pounds. Wicked. All right, Steve. Mr. Narwhal from uh, the Elf film, but uh, apart from that, I said 130. Did you give? Did you get? Have you got a price? Yeah. <laughs> 130 pounds. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. 130 pounds. Uh, who we got left? We've got. Uh, okay, we'll go. Uh, Wilson, how much? Seven thousand pounds. Seven comma zero zero pounds. Okay, seven thousand pounds. <coughs> and over to the last person. Ian. I spent quite a lot of time in me, in me days. In years gone by, looking at prices of um, particularly like the um, control stick and things like that. So, based on what I'd pay for it, eight hundred pounds. All right, bring everybody back. Uh, I can reveal to you that one person, let's see if I can do this. One, no, one person was incredibly over. That would have been me. <laughs> I want to get it. I want to show uh, over it. The, the price of that, oh, massively, massively over by about 25,000 fold, like literally. Uh, the price of it, <laughs> £1,495, which means Ian gets the two points. Oh. Oh, extremely hard. Ian gets the two points. Okie dokie. Right. Now for the last one, which is probably quite a fantastic one that I found on eBay. I will show you exactly what it is. Here we go. Last one for this round. It is this. So let me give you some details. Because it is it is super interesting when you actually read up on it. All right, so it is a genuine General Electric CF six six jet engine from a DC ten aircraft. 
Um, so, things you need to know. Uh, the jet engine is being sold on behalf of a leading UK university's engineering and aerospace department. Um, it belonged to my travel. Uh, when in 2004 the engine type was retired, as uh, my travel retired from and moved over to the Airbus aircraft. Um, it is removed from a retired DC 10 10 series aircraft and has flown about 40 million miles in its 20 year working life. Uh, it does not work anymore, <clears throat> so it's just a standard engine that does not run. What the hell? Yes, it's a standard engine that does not run anymore, but it is a genuine engine that has come from a My Travel DC-10. <clears throat> That's crazy. Is it mounted on that go-kart? Sorry? Well, that is it, is it mounted on that go-kart? <laughs> That's a powerful go-kart. <laughs> I've not seen anything to say it comes with it. Just in case anyone did it, <laughs> the, uh, you can only go and collect it, they won't ship it to you. Oh, really? So you might want to use yourself? Yeah. Yeah. You would. Yeah, I, I, I think that's the one at Cranfield. But you can return it within 45 days. Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody got the hell? Everybody's got an answer. Nice little one to finish on. I'm expecting some really wacky prices, but we'll see. Going with Ian first. I've got none of what you said there, but five thousand four hundred pounds. <clears throat> For whatever reason, we can't hear you, Ian. We can't hear you. Yeah, mute, mute. No, we can't hear you at all, mate. We'll move on. Just while he sorts that out. Right, Jack, over to you. Can you hear me now? <laughs> oh, please. Can you hear you now? You're all good. 250k yeah, again, is it? No. You can hear me now, Ralph. Right. Read it out, Jack. What is it? 250k? Down. 10,000. Oh, 11,000. People not being out. Can't hear you, Jack. <laughs> no, it's just a goddamn. <laughs> All right, Alison, over to you. I went for a spare parts price. Metals cost 25,000. 25K. And I think that's the one at Cranfield. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go for Wilson. I also see. I do. I think Cranfield at the uh, uh, part uh, to uh, uh, I think I do agree with thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five. No, thirty-five. Two five. K. So twenty-five k as well. Yep. <clears throat> okay. All right, Steve. Over to you. Seventeen and a half. Interesting. Seventeen and a half. Okay. Two of you are getting points on this one. I think it's no secret as to who that will be. Uh, both Alison and Wilson are getting points because obviously they both tied on what they were saying. Uh, the actual price, if you wanted this one, if you wanted to own a genuine DC uh, DC ten engine, it would set you back thirty two thousand seven hundred and twenty pounds. Make of that what you will. That's cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap. You would have to put it in the warehouse or buy it and ship it on. 
Because my dad's it's well we go and it's big. That's also, you know, forking out the fuel to go and get it and hiring an enormous is, truck to get just it. deliver it to the wrong house anyway, so you'll lose it. Yeah, yeah so yeah. No, still, it would be, <laughs> be way more easier than that. That's the starting point. You, you still got everything else on that. Right, bear with two seconds. Let's get this back. That's what we go for. Bloody thing. All right, so for Alison, uh, Alison and um, Wilson get the points from that one. I got so, the points! After, after yay points. Um, I think I've given the points out, I'm sure I have. Uh, right, okay. So after that particular round, uh, as follows. In last place with four points, keeping up with what he didn't do last time round and get any points, it is Jack with four. <laughs> so Jack keeping up with tradition and not getting any points in this round. Well done to you. In joint second place, uh, on five points, it is Alison, Ian, and the reigning defending champion, Steve. <clears throat> but running away with it with five point lead uh, on ten points, it is Wilson. Wow, that's amazing right there. So Wilson uh, with uh, that uh, ten, ten points, five points. Yeah. Good stuff. Well done. All right. So I was going to do another round, but I think we'll we'll jump into sort of the last round sort of thing, and we'll try and get a couple into this. And this is where the, it gets a little bit interesting. So the last round that we're going to throw in uh, for tonight is in <laughs> I've just seen that. London plane spotting <laughs> note. Peter C. <laughs> yes, ejector seat with Steve's wonderful face on there as well gets me every time. All right, the idea of this round is as follows. So it's basically survival, basically. Um, I will give you a particular topic and I will need you to basically start naming stuff. So if I said to you what we did last week, if I said airlines from the United States and you can't think of one and you get the answer wrong, you're then taken off screen. Everyone continues until there's one person standing at the end. So um, just while we do that, if anyone needs to kind of just take a quick break, now is a good opportunity to do so. Does anyone need to take a quick break? Anyone like to grab a drink or anything? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Go on, disappear very, very quickly. Go on, you're all right. Just while I grab some uh, some images for this next round. And then I'll quickly run through the chat as well while we do that as well. So give yourself sort of five minutes, five, ten minutes, a bit of a break, and then we'll go into the last round here. Okay. Right. So hopefully everyone is enjoying the quiz so far. I know. I uh, it, it, I'm glad you are. <laughs> you would be if you're running away with it at the moment. Um, right. So, what's the other one? Uh, okay. Right. Wicked. Okay. Let me load up these overlays here. One. Okay. Right, let's quickly go through the chat. If anyone's got any questions for any of the guests for now, just while we uh, have a little quick break, throw them in there, even if for Alison, for Wilson, for Steve, uh, for Jack or myself. Jack disappeared. You probably realise he's left a pizza on or something. <laughs> he was ready in 50 minutes, weren't it? Yeah, I'd say he did. half hour ago it should have been done. <laughs> There he is, he's back, he heard it. Right, uh, question for everyone. Steve's not there yet. 
But question for everybody, what's everyone drinking by uh, asking, uh, Luke is asking what's everyone drinking? Well, I was Water. drinking squash. <laughs> Water for Jack. Carlsberg for me. Carlsberg for Ian. I've got nothing. So I'm hey, right. that's a proper new. Steve's probably getting himself another crate. <laughs> One from I think he's on Thatcher's. Lemon tonight. He was on track. Can you hear me, yeah. right? Can you hear you fine? You're all good. Uh, Jim says Jack's cremating his drink. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Steve with his uh, <laughs> uh Rob Brown says, Where's the suit and tie? I've only got the jacket, not got the tie today because I could be bothered. <laughs> so just the suit jacket today. Uh, Max Jet TV Live. Did I do a live from Heathrow? No, but I have got a video coming out uh, probably next week at some point. I'm going to give myself time to actually put it together. Um, a nine takeoff. Wonderful to watch. Um, Got to come and uh, film nine on Friday. <laughs> I actually managed to catch my first Virgin 330 Neo as well. I'm super happy. Super happy. Which one? When? When was that? Uh, this was on Monday. 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 Yes, because Monday one? was the only time that they were on zero nine. I think. Can't remember yeah, where it was going um, to, but I literally stayed and I was like, "I'm going to get it because <laughs> I want it." Was I coming on Monday? Was I going out Monday? I Oh no, it's in Manchester, weren't it? <laughs> I definitely weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do aim to get back there no, at some point. I was just trying to work out where I'd be. No, I wasn't. I was um, where did I go last? Tampa. Interesting. Alright, let's, uh, let's go for this question here. We'll go around the room. Um, Mac Jet TV Live asking how our weekends were. Jack, how was your weekend? What did you do well, from watching you. West Ham lose? It's a bit re up for a uh, 23, so very much looking forward to that. Booked your air tattoo tickets, lovely. Very nice. Uh, Alison, how was your weekend? I need to get some tickets last. Uh, my week, I've been out a quiet week. I've um, my daughter down for the week because she's staying up here with grandparents while she finishes school so she's been down during half term um well, that's all done um move some furniture upstairs swore a lot trying to move the thing up upstairs um, how are you getting on at your new place because you've recently moved as well haven't you yeah i am not far from fairford now so tattoo territory is very much just around the corner from me uh yeah i'm settling in nicely I'm um, just trying to find a way around Wiltshire. So, going to get some time off to go to the air tattoo yeah. this year? Uh, if I can get some time off for it, I will do. If I can, yeah. I, I won't Group know until up. about a month before. Group meet up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good stuff. Steve, over to you. How was your weekend? Obviously, you were dealing with obviously football stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, the team lost. They were perhaps out, so that made me difficult. No end. <laughs> So, yeah, Just, that's about as, as, as football as it gets. Yeah, team lost, you know, same old, same old. <laughs> Did what I had to do to ask pretty much my weekends these days. <laughs> that's why we drink as well to get over it. Yeah, numb the pain. That's it. Mind you, I mean, my team lost to Southampton, so there you go. Um, yeah, well, say no more. yeah, well, that's said. <laughs> yes. Yeah, say no more. Um, right, okay, Ian has disappeared, we'll wait for him to come back and then we'll get started with the final round of um, ejector seat. Um, Jim saying that his weekend has been good, uh, now looking for a sledgehammer, they can do more damage than a brick, if you know, you know. What? Good. Obviously, some people have to be in the know to know that. <laughs> um, here he is. Is he back? He is back. There he is. Welcome back. 
No. You might as well go yes. outside down no, at this man. point. I'm I've never had some. I love the fact everyone's having issues today with like connections. It's wonderful. <laughs> One of those days. Oh, I know. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's begin. Let's begin with the uh, ejector seat. So, as I said, I will give you a topic, and it's like survival. I can only. What? <laughs> Are you massively delayed? So I can't see anybody else. You, you can't see anybody else. <laughs> Who can you see waving? I think you hell is it. Oh there. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Crack in. Right, let's get let's just let's just do this. Let's get this finished. Uh, <laughs> Right, anyway, so I will give you a topic and it's like survival. If you get it wrong, you're out, and obviously, there are points as to what happens. So, we're going to do, we're going to ramp up a little bit because we've got five people in. So, if you're the first person out, you get two points. If you're the second to last person out, you get four. Next person gets six. Uh, next person after that gets eight. And if you're left standing and can give me a correct answer, you get 10 points. If not, you get eight points as well. Three categories to get through. So we'll see how well you do. I will explain each one as we go on to them. But uh, your first um, topic that I need, or tonight's topics, for example, uh, I would like you please to name uh, airlines that were either in or have now gone for particular airline alliances. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. yeah. Oh, God. Yes. So they have to either be current members. If you know your alliances very well, they can be uh, like affiliates of some kind. I'm actually going to take this off now. <laughs> I'm on my nerves a little bit. Um, yeah, so they can be <laughs> they can be current members. They can be affiliate members, or they could be previous members that are now no longer part of that alliance. Okay. So. First one that I would like you to name X, Y, Z from is One World. So I have a list that I will refer to uh, if you get it wrong, um, then you are eliminated. Like I said, they can be current, uh, future or former members. But they have to be on my list. So we're going to go from the bottom up, meaning Jack gets to go first, uh, and then uh, it will be Steve, then Ian, then Alison, and then Wilson. So, Jack, I need you to please name me um, a member. Or full member of uh, the One World Alliance. British Airways. That is correct. Um, who did we say we were going to after that? I've just lost where I've got to. Steve, over to you, Steve. Uh, American Airlines. American Airlines is correct. Uh, Ian. I forget he's delayed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Qatar Airways is correct. Oh. Yes, Qatar Airways is correct. Alison. <clears throat> Finnair is correct. Wilson. I'm just going to airline. I really don't want to go. That's in the alliance. Which one's that, sorry? American. Oh, American. Yes. American's already been said, which means you're eliminated from this round for the minute. So two points. 
for Wilson. That's how quickly. So yeah, so if they are repeated, you are out, basically. You have to, it's, it's literally a case of saying it once. So now there's some points up for grabs, which means any this is anyone's game now because it's going to start throwing it up. So um, American's been said already. I believe we now go back to Jack. Virgin Atlantic. Alison, do the honours. Virgin Atlantic? No. Mm. no. Jack's gone. No, <laughs> Jack is gone. Jack gets to... Uh, I, thought Jack Virgin Atlantic. I thought Virgin had signed up. Have they not signed up to... The not for One World. Not One World. That's to be airlines. Uh, yep. Okay, fair. fair All right. <laughs> Let's bring ourselves to this way. It's a little bit easier. All right. So Jack gets himself four points. Um, Steve, over to you. Uh, um, um, who? Emirates. Hesitation. <laughs> Not on the list. Steve gets himself six points. Okay, down to the two of you. Um, I believe after Steve, it was Ian. So over to you, Ian. <sighs> Qantas is correct. Over to you, Alison. Um, Jordanian, Royal Jordanian. That is correct. Did you get that? Over to you, Ian. Oh. <clears throat> L L. Yeah. Nothing uh, on that front. So eight points <clears throat> for uh, Ian, which means Alison, you will score yourself a wonderful ten points if you can give me a correct answer. Um. Who said Erdingus? It's not been said. It's also correct. Must be must be part of it because it's part of IAG. It's also correct. It is indeed. Ten points. Goes oh. to Allerton. So I'm not anymore. I've been in the lead. All right. I thought I'd lost it because I couldn't hear anything from it. I thought if I missed. So here's what you could have had. So Alaska Airlines. Oh, the more, seven. The more recent one. I see the other two. I said no. I should have known. Yeah. So you got <clears throat> Alaska, American, Thank British you. Airways, Cafe Pacific, Finnair, Iberia, Japan Airlines, Malaysia, Qantas, Qatar, Royal Air Maroc, uh, Royal Jordanian, and Sri Lankan Airlines. They are current members. S7 was it, won it. Future member, Oman Air. Um, the more former members are Air Lingus, Air Berlin, Canadian Airlines, um, Latam Airlines, Malev, and Mexicana. Um, and there are, there are quite a few um, affiliates, basically like British Asia Airways, BA Connect, etc. You know, like the low cost sort of versions of, of, of particular airlines. So that is what you could have had. All right. So after that round in particular, here's how it looks now. <clears throat> 
in last place with eight points is Jack. In fourth place is the current reigning defending champion, Steve, with 11. In third was the former leader, Wilson. In second, and there's only a point between the two of them. In second, with 14 points, is Ian. Meaning, with 15 points as it stands, Allison is in the lead. All to play for. Nobody is out of this yet. All right. The next one I would like you to go for, please, is... You probably see that. Star Alliance. Star Alliance is the next one that I'd like you to <coughs> start naming if you could. I have the list. Again, same thing applies. They can be current, former, or future um, members uh, of Star Alliance. Again, same principle applies. Last place gets two, four, six, eight, and then ten for the correct answer if you're the last one standing. <coughs> so, we'll then go top to bottom this time. Meaning we'll go with uh, Alison, then Ian, then Wilson, then Steve, then Jack. <coughs> so, Alison, uh, if you want to kick things off, please, with um, a Star Alliance member. I've got to say, Virgin Atlantic. You just joined us there. Virgin Atlantic is correct. Very good. Future member. Um, who do we say? Ian, over to you. I don't know if you said anything because I wasn't looking at the screen, I was looking at my list. <laughs> Still, nothing. <laughs> Take your earphones out. <clears throat> yeah, Lufthansa. Lufthansa. There we go. Got there in the end. Uh, Lufthansa is correct. Very good. Um, Wilson, over to you. Sorry to think who would be part of the alliance. I don't know why. I Still, is that US Airways? Uh, oh no, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, right, go, go I, I want to say, uh, yeah, I actually want to say US Airways, before I remember, before I was at work and I got down, and then I had to merge with American with the other ones. Got it. That's it, yeah, US Airways. Uh, US Airways is correct. US Airways is correct. They are a former member, of course. Um, Steve, over to you. <clears throat> uh, Air China. Uh, Air China is correct. Jack. Mm. Who? United. Uh, United is correct. Uh, Alison. Ty. Ty is Correct. Ian. Air uh, India. Uh, Air India is correct. Uh, Wilson. We already see yours already. So. Can't really think of Star Alliance. Yes, yeah, Star Alliance. You can pass if you want to. It means you will be eliminated. I don't want. <laughs> um... You can take the Jack approach and just shout out any airline and just pray that God that that works. <laughs> Um, 
Qantas. Alison was shaking her head. Yeah, Qantas oh. was part of one world. Oh. Two points go to Wilson. All right. Uh, Steve, over to you. Um, I'm going to have to go for a Jack shout out here and just say golf. That is incorrect. Um, so four points to Steve. Uh, Jack, over to you. Are you going to go gung ho, or do you know an answer? Asian Ellen. Asian Ellen. Asiana. Is correct. Asian. Oh, Asian. Yeah, I know who you mean. I know who you mean. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I know who you mean. That is fine. Um, Alison. Um, Not part Star Alliance. Mm -hmm. Afraid not. <laughs> Afraid not. Alison is gone. So six points. Or Alison, uh, that would mean Ian. It is your turn. I should know these because I did this. The, um, I know this is why I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say A&A. Oh, Nippon. Oh, dear. You're correct. No. Oh, Jack, over to you. Oh, I'm <laughs> Singapore Airlines. Singapore. Yeah, Singapore is there. Good shout. Well done, Jack. Over to you, Ooh. Ian. Uh, oh, jeez. Be um, current or former members. Honestly, man. Mine's blank. I'm, I'm thinking of. Oh, I'm Might need to push you. I'm thinking. Tattoo. Oh. Tie. Been said already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Eight points to Ian. So, Jack, 10 points. I need a correct answer, please, for Star Alliance. Tap out Portugal. 10 points goes to Jack. So I've got a nice now. I know it is. <laughs> See how it is. I, mean, I, now. I, I got one. I got my first one wrong. Hey, <laughs> I've got. I just realised I got my first one wrong. Virgin Ant um, Star. Oh, oh, yeah, they're not. So I didn't get. I, oh, right. Okay, so that that does change things up. All right. Um, I just realised that as soon as I. Thought, <laughs> I'm trying to think now, I've got to change everyone's score. All right, uh, Wilson was the first oh, one. Else to hit no, so, so Wilson will get an extra. Oh, okay, this is confusing me. Sorry, now. that's all right, that's all right. I'm gonna try and work this out. Um, so Jack got 10, which is fine, that stays as it is. Uh, Ian got eight, which stays as it is. 
What did you get? You got six, I think. So you go on to 17. I think we just changed places, I think. Steve was next, so he gets another two points, and then Wilson gets another two points. That does change everything. All right. So, thank you for your honesty. I appreciate it. <laughs> Probably should have thought because the KLM threw me. I was like, oh, <laughs> no, that's all right. All right. After that round, that changes everything. And I can tell you that between all of you, there are only four points. This is anyone's to win going into the last round. This is anybody's to win. So in last place with 16 points, it's Wilson. In joint third on 17 points each, it is Alison and the current reigning defending champion, Steve. In second place with 18 points, Jack, which means for the four point lead, it's Ian. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Northern. <laughs> <laughs> so there are six, yeah, there's so six points between Wilson in last and Ian in first. This is anybody's ball game to win. So the tension is quite, it's quite something at the moment. So, uh, I think it's pretty obvious who the last one is now. Don't don't do me think it is a course Sky. team. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I see my team. Of course it is. I, of course. See my dad. See my dad. Yeah, where where that shirt on? So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go again, top to bottom. So it's going to be Ian, then Jack, uh, then Steve, then Allison, then Wilson. This could not be any more crucial than it already is um, in order to, to get points on the board. One wrong answer could literally change everything. So current uh, members and uh, former members, uh, please. Uh, we're going to go for Ian first. <laughs> no. no. Got, can't hear you. Like your Still can't hear you. Nothing. Delta. Right, okay. Uh, correct. I'm having to lip read now. It's going to be interesting. Uh, Delta. Delta is correct. Um, Jack. Does no one have any sound? Go again. He's not... Yeah, Air, France. Mike, Air France. Air France is correct. I can't believe no one's gone for it yet. Um, who did we say was next? Steve. Uh, who? ITA. ITA. ITA is correct. Alison. I can't believe none of them have said it yet. Go I've for got it. to say it. Go for Virgin. it. Virgin, of course. She literally gave you the answer. And none of you said it. <laughs> Very good. Virgin is there. Wilson. Which one? Sky team. Yeah, Sky Team, Sky Team member. Say, want to say France, Air France, this is part of the big, big group because there's someone already wants Air France. I love the knowledge, however, unfortunately, Jack said Air France. Sorry, Wilson. Wilson's gone. All right, okay. So, as it stands, any one of you can win this. So, uh, after Wilson, it was back to Ian, I believe. Someone correct me if that's wrong. No, no one's correcting me. That's fine. We'll go with it. Ian, over to you. There's no I'm lip read. K yeah, <laughs> I'm just lip reading at the moment. Um, KLM is correct. Very good. Um, 
with uh, Jack. Over to you. Um, I'm going to. Brussels Airlines. It's just not your time, Jack, unfortunately. Jack is gone. Brussels is a part of Star Alliance. Okay. So any one of these three can win. So after Jack... Uh, it would have been, I want to say, Steve, I think was the next one. Um, uh, I don't know, Frontier or whatever they're called in Punt. So we are going to have a new champion. Ooh. Steve gets himself six points. So it's either Alison or Ian that will become the new champion. Uh, so Alison, over to you. Aeroflo Put a suspend a minute. Aeroflow is correct. Ian. Can't hear you, mate. Take your phones out. <laughs> See if that works. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. I've got one, but it's sketchy and I'm not. Errol, Mexico. I mean, it's a great shout. It's also correct. Good shout. <laughs> it's a great shout. All right. Aaron Mexico is on that list. Alison. I want to say... Um, China Eastern? Southern. Correct. Ooh. Correct. China Eastern is on the list. Yeah. Over to you. I Ian. haven't got another answer. Yeah. So when she it's gonna when have to be the said China Eastern, then I just thought China Southern. So Gonna have to push you for an answer. I'm I'm just gonna say Jal Jal Japan Japan. Yeah. And no. no. <laughs> oh, All right. Uh I'll do that bit in a second. Uh what was that? Eight points. Was it eight points? 22, eight points. Okay. Uh, so that is 20, no, it's 30 points. Okay. So, Alison, for 10 points. I don't know if it's been said. Garuda? Garuda, Indonesia? Garuda is correct. 10 points to you. Ah. Okay. So let's bring everybody back. Can I, can I, just, can I just add to one? Is the hey? I don't know what it's called. 
Argentina. What's that one called? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah Aerolinius Argentina. Yeah, that's that, that is yeah. one. Yeah, oh. yeah. So we Argentina, Sorry. but I can't think of name name of it. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Okay, Wounded. so this is this is quite interesting because Actually, I said and new Quizness Jet champion. I don't know who it is, but it is between Allison and Ian. So, in last Ooh. place, and I think he did very well for his first time. Last place, team points is Wilson. So very well done, Wilson. Very good. Well yeah. done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing lower than last time with 22 points is Jack in fourth place. Well done. Well done. In third, the former Business Jet champion Steve with 23 points. So well done. Um, now, this is where it gets interesting because there was, I believe, a five point gap between the pair of you. So, what needed to happen was Ian needed to be the first one out or the second. So, now there's a three point gap between the pair of you. So, in second place, with 27 points. It's Alison. Oh! oh. <laughs> Meaning the new <laughs> Quizness Jet champion is, here he is, where is he? Ian. There he is. It is Ian with 30 points. Hey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Anything less. <laughs> That's a fish. It's a, it's a fishing trophy. I like it. <laughs> it's a fine fish. Fantastic. Oh, um, yeah, three points between you. Um, three points between you. So literally, if Ian had gone out first or second. Be crowning Alison as a champion. So I'm absolutely shocked. I'm really, really shocked. <laughs> I shouldn't have oh, I'll tell you what. the second round. Oh, I, I'll tell you what, that was tense. That was properly, properly tense. But well done, everybody. Well done, everyone. All right. Hopefully, uh, if, if anyone that's playing at home, um, if you have your scores, chunk them in the chat. Let's see how you got on. Um, Everyone's saying well done to the champion. <laughs> well done. Well done. Fantastic. All right, Steve, we've got to get a word from you. How does it feel to lose yeah. your title to Ian? Uh, well, everyone except Jack was worthy contenders. <laughs> Ian's, a, Ian's a good mate of mine. So that he's, uh, he's taken my trouble and was uh, pushed us all the way. So, so well done to you as well. Well, so yeah, nicely done, everyone. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Ian, first words as champion, please. Um, shocked to be quite honest with you. Yeah, after the, I mean, to say that I started um, with minus two, minus two, plus one, minus two, minus <laughs> three, it, it, it is an absolute shock. It's all about that survival round. Yeah, it's all about it, that survival it, it was round. All, yeah. Yeah. It's all about the alliances, yeah. 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 So here are the here are the other um airlines that you could have had for Sky Team. You could have had Air Relinia Sargentinia, you could have had Air Europa, China Airlines, Czech Airlines, um ITA was mentioned, Kenya Airways, Korean Air, Middle East Airlines, yeah. Saudi, Tarom, Vietnam Airlines, and uh Shiman Air. Um Alitalia was one that nobody picked up. Um, Ian said China Southern. That would have been correct. Um, Continental Northwest were there as well. So there you go. 
Um, Wayne Hartshorn got 24 points, which still wouldn't have been enough to knock Ian off the perch. Um, so good, good stuff. Jack, how do you feel? Oh, as long as I be, uh, it's, it's like what happened to uh, in the championship with Bournemouth. You can't come up them. Oh dear, deary me. Um, Alison, first obviously first time playing the, the the quiz. How how was that for you? It was good. It was good. I should have fessed up for that second or two knockout rounds. I can add it. <laughs> but, also, your yeah. honesty as well. Honesty got you yeah, there as well. <laughs> it, did. it did. But hey, no, it's great. Great fun. Great fun. Good stuff. Been great having you, um, Wilson. Last words. Thanks again. Well, there's a quiz show. It was a lot of fun. And there's last one really kick butt. If it's last one kick butt, I wouldn't be a champion. <laughs> but you, 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 what they said, you know. Uh, hopefully, this, this number we have. This, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll brush it off. I'll be at this. I hope I'll be near the top. <laughs> like it, fighting for it. brilliant, wonderful stuff. Right, that is the end of the quiz. Ian is your new reigning defending Quizness Jet champion. So well done to you. Um. And obviously, well done, everybody playing at home. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to smash the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't done already. Become a member as well and get your own little shout out uh, at the end of the show um, and at the beginning of the show as well. And join the members that are already there. Um, and that is that. Uh, that is that for us. So, uh, no landing challenges during the week uh, because I'll be focusing on the Heathrow video and catching up on a little bit of flight sim um, before going in. <laughs> challenges. I'm not doing any landing challenges this week. I'm like, I've got a video to edit. It's fine. Yeah, I missed I miss the um, aircraft carrier one. Catch, it, catch up with it. You'll, you'll enjoy it. If you ever oh, want to know how to land you, a Concorde on, on YouTube, the... YouTube, yeah. All right. All right yeah, if, you, if, you, if you want to know how to land Concorde on there, just go watch it. I'm a pro. <laughs> but um i'm not um but yeah so uh yes hopefully everyone enjoyed it um next time we're back live is on saturday for i think it's amsterdam to Jeddah. i believe we're doing so a nice little five hour flight which would be nice um but uh but yeah that'll do for us so we're all gonna sort of wave goodbye Shut there's on. no like podcast version of it not yet not yet not yet uh, tom <laughs> go tom, on before you go who's joined in tonight and everyone at home, happy birthday for tomorrow, mate. Have a good one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Tom. Don't, don't, don't birthday, sing it. Birthday, don't sing it because birthday. it'll be so out of sync. Don't sing it because it'll be so <laughs> out of sync. Happy no. Birthday, <laughs> you, you, oh, dear, you. it's happened. <laughs> happy give up. We can edit it all together after you. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's all <laughs> oh thank you so much thank you that's very kind um yeah don't do that again um <laughs> just, just, write, just write it to me on facebook and things like that don't <laughs> very good yeah I, you covered the fish with the spitfire very good <laughs> love it all right it's all very good. No, thank you very much. Yes, it is my birthday tomorrow and I have to work. Happy days. Right. Okay. Let's get out of here. So, um, I'm just trying to think how to properly end this now because we don't do it like a podcast. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go around and we'll just literally say goodbyes and then we'll start waving happily and then we'll just play the graphic and then get out of here. All right. Everyone say goodbye. Steve, uh, actually, we'll save you to the end because I know you do quite well. Wilson, do you want to say goodbye to those watching? Goodbye. Hopefully. I'll see you in a uh, quick way. Before we you know what, when, when you're when you're to this next quiz, you put on my mic. Very good. Alison, say goodbye to everybody. I'd just like to say thank you for joining us today. Have a safe onward journey where it's taking you. Uh, please do fly over us again in the future and take care. <laughs> oh, I like it. Very good. Uh, Ian, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Well, as, as your new champion. <laughs> <laughs> says <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to thank everybody tonight. 
I'd be taking Clark. Um, let's get some comp- proper competition for the next one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, fine talks on. You know Alison's gonna come back for that now. She she like that that trophy's mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I like it. Uh Jack, say goodbye to those still watching and don't forget your pizza's overdone now by about an hour and twenty. <laughs> right, right guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. And good night. Stay safe. Stay sexy. Oh, boo. Have a good weekend and we- <laughs> boo. Boo. <laughs> <Ruined>. boo. <laughs> All right, Steve, take us out. Go on, do it. Yeah, that was an embarrassment, Jack. Have a word. Right. <laughs> Thank you to Evan Knight, Eva, for watching. Um, cheer, my lovely. Stay safe. Stay safe. Happy birthday, Tom. Have a good Is one. It? Right, cheer up now. Awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. Happy birthday. Uh, keep, uh, keep you on with us next week as well. I'll let everyone that hey. in the background. Hey. <laughs> You're live. Please don't sweat. Um, <clears throat> uh, Speedbird TV are with us next week on, on the podcast. Ian's the winner. Everyone loves it. Speedbird TV with us next week on the podcast to Ooh. raise some more. Help. All right, everybody. Wave whatever you like within reason. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.